Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about discriminant validity through HTMT ratios. So let's jump into the data. Uh, here we are. This is my SPSS data set, uh, which I used in my one of the previous videos related to the conversion and discriminant validity. It's the same data that I have here. I have a few scales over here which have different items. I'll click on analyze. Then I'll click on dimension reduction, but don't worry, it's not going to be very complicated. Then I'll go on factor. I'll select two scales between which I want to calculate the HTMT ratio. I want to do it now for RQ and WR. So I'm selecting all the RQs over here. And then I'm selecting all the WRs and clicking on this. I'll click on descriptives and then I'll click on correlation metrics coefficients. And I don't need any other element from here. Click on continue and then click on OK. And here you get. This is the correlation metrics that we have and this is what we are interested in. I'll right click on it, copy and then I'll take it to my Excel file. Now, here I am on an Excel file. I've just copy pasted a few formulas over here I'll show you. So I'm keeping my cursor on one of the cells, Control V, and all my data is pasted over here. All right, so basically, first we need to understand what we are going to calculate when we are calculating HTMT ratio. It basically calculates, divides the mean of uh, the correlation between one uh, items of one construct with the items of the other construct. So what is what is that region that we have over here? You can see we have WR items over here. And th these are the RQ item labeling over here. So this block that we have over here, this has... Um, the correlation of the items of WR with the RQ. So we need an average of these, and I'm going to put them over here, equals to average. And this whole region that I have over here. All right. And I'll simply click on Enter. So I have this average over here. Now I need to calculate mean of um, the items with their own items, like you know the correlation of uh, uh, the item of one construct with the other items, like what we have over here. So I'm going to show you which items we need over here. For example, if you look at this cell over here, which I'm going to turn green, uh, this is correlation of RQ1 with R2, and then this is with R1 and R3, and this is RQ4 and R1, and so on. So I'm going to color these, which I need over here, so that we can include them in our calculation. So I'll click one by one on each one of them over here. So this is the average of these should go over here. So I'm just going to do the same equals to average. And uh, then I will hold the control key and I'll click on all the cells that I have shaded green. So they are all going into the average and then I'll click the bracket close button and that's it. We have it here. Now, I'll do the same on this side as well. The ratio, the correlation of WR items within the other with the other items within the same construct. I'm going to choose a little different color, maybe an orange shade. Okay, so this is where I am. I'm just shading them for my convenience so that, you know, uh, when I'm calculating, I'm not confused. These are the items. These are the correlations that I need. And I'm going to put an average over here equals to average. And with average, I'll click control and select the cells which I need in the average bracket close, enter. So now I need to calculate this formula using these values that I have here. 
So this is my HDMP ratio of the first pair of my constructs. It is equal to mean of the uh, two different constructs. Then it is divided by, then we have the square root. So it is SQRT and here. And then uh, we will multiply this the mean of the correlations within the one construct multiplied by mean of the constructs correlation of the other one and the bracket close and enter and here we go this is our HTMT ratio 0.454 it's a very good ratio the criteria is that it should be less than 0. 9.0 or 0 0.50 as stringent test. So I'm going to write it here, less than 0 0.85 or 0 0.90. So these are the two criteria values. It should be either less than 0.85 or 0 0.90. Now, likewise, you will calculate the HTMT ratio of all the other constructs that you have in your data. And that's how we'll go about it. I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much. Um, see you in another video.